course, the event was about, uh, in large part, a, a strong view that the administration and the campaign have that reproductive rights, abortion rights, are an essential uh, in this um, campaign season. Uh, do you get a sense that the president uh, is going to find ways to do more to personalize this story of how women are affected by it? He cited ways where women are not getting medical care. He talked about how uh, influential it is. Is there some other outreach that he can do? So appreciate the question. Look, I think what you heard, uh, obviously yesterday was a campaign event uh, that the president did with the other uh, principals um, in the administration, and you heard him speak passionately and fiery, I will say, about the issue uh, on Monday. Uh, uh, as you all know, uh, this week would have been the 51st, if Roe was still a constitutional law, would have been the 51st uh, anniversary of Roe v. Wade. And we talked about, you've heard from the president, you've heard from the vice president talk about how devastating the overturning of Roe have been to women across the country, and just the amount of, of, um, of um, legislation that is restricting that right, restricting that rep reproductive right that we've seen in states. Uh, what I will say as it relates to outreach, there is something that I will share with all of you. On Sunday, the President and the First Lady spoke to Kate Cox. Uh, who was forced to go to, to court to seek permission for the care she needed for a non-viable uh, pregnancy that threatened her life, that threatened her life. Uh, they thanked her for her courage in sharing her story and speaking out about the impact of the extreme abortion ban in Texas. The First Lady invited Kate uh, to join her as a guest at the State of the Union, and Kate accepted. So those are ways that you're going to hear uh, the President lift up uh, those very personal stories. You saw that uh, yesterday with Amanda, who came and who introduced the President. Uh, and it is important. It is important for Americans to hear the horroring stories that we're hearing from women of their experiences uh, across the country. Uh, and one last thing I'll say, and it looks like you have a follow-up, and I apologize, uh, is that, you know, this is a president and a administration, the Biden-Harris administration, is standing with majority of Americans on this, with majority of Americans. And Republican elected officials are just not. I know, yeah, um, follow up. Is that a private <laughs> call, or is that something that you uh, recorded? Sometimes we've seen those yeah. uh, as released later. What's the status? So it definitely was a private car, call, call, pardon me, a private call. I, I cannot speak if it was recorded, but obviously it was a private call that they thought it was really important, uh, the President and the First Lady, to reach out to Kate. As you all have, know and all have reported, and she's been on some of uh, the networks here, uh, her story is incredibly powerful, uh, devastating. And, uh, and it speaks to the moment that we are in now when we talk about women having the right to make these deeply personal decisions about their health care that was taken away by the Supreme Court. And we have Republican officials that continue to talk about and in Congress uh, introduce uh, you know, national bans. And so that is not where this president and this vice president stands. And you're going to continue to hear us speak to that.